This video is sponsored by the EA Creator Network. Hello everyone, this is Hanami Sims and welcome back to my channel for a brand new speed build. If you're new here, hi, welcome in and if you are a returning viewer, it's so good to see you and I hope you've been well since the last time. So today I am building three houses on one lot for my brand new save file project. And this is actually going to be the new lot for the BFF household, which consists of Liberty Lee, Travis Scott and Summer Holiday. And it's going to be a residential rental lot, so each of them will rent their own small house or unit. And yeah, this one is going to actually have four rental units where the middle house has a fully furnished one on the first floor and a semi-furnished one on the second floor that's going to be empty. And, you know, anyone who would like could move their sim in and play alongside the BFF household. So for my save file, I have decided to split them up. I mean, I could have kept them together as roommates still, but I just found this lot to fit better for multiple houses, seeing as it's a rather big or wide lot. So yeah, I decided to go for that ID instead. But yeah, I've been very excited to start this project. I've been going at it for like a month or so already, where I started with Jotting down lots of different ideas for builds, sims, and storylines, and I've done some makeovers for the pre-existing sims, as I'm going to be using a lot of packs, not just base game for this one. The reason for that is that so I get a lot more creative freedom, and I can take advantage of all the different gameplay features, create a sim assets, and build and buy items. And that way I can create more in-depth sims, stories, and builds. However, the only pack restriction I have for the save file is that I'm not going to use any kits. And I'm probably not going to use Journey to B2 either, because just no. <laughs> and you know, I've been doing a lot of pack restricted builds over the last year or so. Like, I've been very focused on not using too many packs for my build, so I think this project will be a bit freeing in that sense, where I don't have to worry as much about what packs I use. And I hope you're looking forward to what I'm going to be doing for this save file. So yeah, I'm planning to start out with the base game worlds of Willow Creek, Oasis Springs and Newcrest, which is honestly a lot of builds and sims. Because I also want to add my own sims and households, of course, and I want to make them in depth and diverse so i'll have to see how long that's going to take me even though i already have lots of ideas for all the worlds as well and especially for brindleton bay which is one of my favorite worlds in the game so who knows maybe i'll sneak in a build here and there in other worlds too at least i am planning on having this as my main project going forward both for youtube and streaming over on twitch so if you ever want to check out the progress of the save file in real time make sure to head on over to twitch.tv forward slash hanami sims and leave a follow to get notified when i go live next time so just a little shameless plug there <laughs> So I'm currently doing the exterior of the three houses now, as you can see. The first one on the left hand side here will belong to Summer, the middle one is where Travis will live on the first floor, and the right hand side one is where Liberty is going to live. Also by the way, if my voice sounds off or anything during this vi voiceover, that is because I've been sick once again. So this is actually the second time I'm being sick this year, so I'm crossing my finger. It will be a while until the next time. So I just wanted to mention that before I talk any further. I'll probably not talk through the entire speed build just to, you know, protect my voice a bit as I'm still recovering. And this video is, as you might see, it's going to be quite long. But I really want to talk a bit more about my save file and of course today's builds and the BFF household and you know what I've done with them. So why don't I start off by talking about the sims who are going to be living here. You might already be familiar with the BFF roommates in the default save file, the base game one, as one of the pre-existing households in Willow Creek and as mentioned earlier we have Liberty, Travis and Summer and their dynamic in the game is that there's some kind of 
love triangle going on, like both of the girls are into Travis. However, that's not going to be the case for my save file. I'll get more into each of them in a moment. But first I thought it would be nice to show off a photo of how they look now after I've given them a makeover. In a lot of cases for my makeovers in this save file, the pre-made sims will have a personality overhaul and also most likely a career overhaul as well. Um, and this is the case for the BFFs too. So here you can see what they look like now. I feel like a lot of the original sims are very brightly dressed. They might have weird proportions and whatnot, so I've toned it down um, a bit or tried to make them more natural looking, if that makes sense. I also want to mention I've tried my best not to touch their original features too much, but let me tell you that's been very difficult for some sims, so some of them might look a bit different in the save file, but I swear it's for the better. And now that I've said that, let me start with Summer Holiday first, since we are doing her house first. So Summer is originally in the culinary career as a head dishwasher. She's very cheerful, active and outgoing. But in my save file, she's going to be a teaching assistant, which is a very low level in the teaching career. But I thought that choice would be so cute for her. I think it would fit her. So I made her more youthful and cute looking. She's wearing these overalls. And she wears a lot of light colored clothing to kind of stay true to that whole cute aesthetic that I wanted for her. And her house and the interior design especially are going to reflect that as well with lots of bright cute colors and furniture and also since she is a teacher I would imagine her having lots of drawings or other types of arts and crafts from the kids at school in her home like hanging proudly on the fridge or on the cork board and she's even going to have her own small office so definitely lots of arts and crafts there too like her own I imagine she would be very much into the creative part of her job. And yeah, I thought her house was really fun to decorate. So you'll see what it ends up looking like later in the video. And Summer is also going to have her very own fluffy cat. And I imagine her being in a very fresh relationship too. So I'm looking forward to working more on her storyline and making her partner and their place too in the future. So stay tuned for that and yes i forgot to mention but summer's new traits are outgoing cheerful and loyal so i just switched out active to loyal and also since we now have preferences like dislikes and likes in the base game as well i've added those to all the pre-mades and summer's now into singing gardening and baking and I've also added some tomato plants for her in the backyard, which I thought was cute for her. And, you know, just like a little hobby for her to, to do. And she's also going to have her very own stand mixer in the kitchen. It's the one that came from the Home Chef Hustle Pack. And she'd probably be into making cakes, cupcakes and whatnot. Maybe even bring some to her work. So yeah, as for the rest, I'll leave it up to all of you to explore. I'm pretty sure I'll upload all the makeovers to the gallery too. However, I'm not too sure when yet. I might do a few changes here and there until I actually post the save file, of course. So that goes for maybe the houses as well. But I will have the house or the lot up on the gallery when this speed build is up on YouTube. So that's pretty much the new summer holiday for you. Next up, we have Travis Scott. He is originally in the IT career and he's outgoing, self-assured and a geek. I've kept his traits except changed up oh, outgoing with cringe. I think that would fit him and his new career. And yeah, he's now going to be an internet personality, which is a branch in the social media career coming with City Living. He'll also be a notable newcomer celebrity. I didn't want to forget about fame and everything in my save files, so I'm going to add a few new celebrities here and there throughout the town. And Travis is the new addition to that party. And I'll of course be doing like some sims who are 
not that famous, but they they still have a bit of fame, you know, and then, you know, over to the the other side of the spectrum, like someone is wildly famous. <laughs> So I'll definitely... I'm looking forward to making all these new sims. I also gave Travis the world famous celebrity aspiration, so he has big goals in life. So yeah, he has a kind of cool and hip look to him now. And when I was making him over, I realized his features reminded me of Jake Gyllenhaal. So maybe you'll see that too. I know I mentioned this on my on stream on Twitch once as well and people in the chat were agreeing so <laughs> I think I'm I'm not totally imagining things but yeah as for his likes he's very into video gaming media production and photography which resonates with his career as well he's also into pranks and he likes funny sims so he's very much a gamer and streamer he also has his own office space for streaming so i put in lots of little collectibles in his office like the the simis that comes with snowy escape and other like little fun objects i think he would like to show off in the background of his streams and yeah i think he would have friends over a lot like his own little tight-knit a uh, group of friends like yeah a little clique of same-minded people basically and he'll have he has uh, a board game table in the living room, so they will be maybe like playing games together. And also the backyard will be perfect for hangouts. So we'll of course check that out in the build tour at the end of the video as well. And I was going for an overall like muted color scheme for him with a pop of color here and there. Last but not least, we have Liberty Lee. She is actually an astronaut in the original storyline. She's originally a geek, a bookworm, and clumsy. Instead of clumsy though, I gave her the socially awkward trait and I switched out her career to make her an engineering intern. So the engineer career is something that comes with Discover University and her choice of job is also going to be reflected in her house with lots of gadgets here and there for, you know, her work. She has her own robotics workshop out in the backyard in the shed. And yeah, she's very into like programming, robotics and video gaming, but she's not a fan of cooking. So she's probably ordering a lot of food or doing quick meals in the microwave, like things like that. I did include a pressure cooker though, now that we have one in for rent. So maybe her parents got her one. <laughs> I was imagining like those little things as I was decorating this house at least. And yeah, Liberty is a bit messy. The house itself is a bit run down, similar with Summers on the outside. I imagine Travis's house was the newest one out of all of them. But I do think Liberty's house is probably my favorite out of all of these on this lot. I'm a big fan of the more run down and mix and match style for the furniture. And also Liberty's makeover too, I'm quite satisfied with how she turned out. She has a pretty cool look to her with her big headphones, her laid back style and... I feel like I always forget about the acne skin detail in the game, but I really wanted to include that for Liberty and I think she looks great. Uh, she also now has a dog called JJ, he is a bull terrier and the whole idea behind getting Liberty, a bull terrier, is because if you didn't know, there is this bull terrier uh, tattoo from Discover University. So I decided to give Liberty that tattoo, and we can imagine that it's actually of her own dog, which I I just love that ID. So I decided to go for that, and I hope you you like those little like details that I've thought of as well for The Sims and their houses. Um, but yeah, that's basically a summary of the three sims and I hope you enjoyed listening and learning more about their new storylines, careers and personalities. I didn't change too much about their overall personality traits, but you can definitely see a big difference from how they used to look to how they look now. You know, figuring out their careers was definitely a lot of fun. 
We do have a lot of different jobs to choose from now if you have the majority of the packs and I can't wait to create more sims and distribute more of the curious between them and create their new homes as well. So if you have any suggestions on what kind of sims you'd like to see me include in the save file and make homes for, I'd love to see a comment from you in the comment section down below. Or if there is like any kind of specific uh, family dynamics or dynamics in general you'd like to see for any of the sims, let me know as well. So I won't go into too much detail about the houses in general since I usually do that during the build tour anyway. So I'll leave you with that for now and I hope you enjoy the rest of the speed build and some cozy background music. I'll talk to you again for the build tour at the end of the video. Enjoy! Thank you. 
Here we do have the finished houses on the Garden Essence lot in Willow Creek that is originally meant for the BFF household. And this is of course for the new BFF household in my save file. So for this one we have three different houses with four different rental units. So the house on the left hand side is for Summer Holiday, the middle one is for Travis Scott, on the first floor, the second floor is empty, you can move your own sims in, and the right hand side one is for Liberty Lee. So let's check out the houses in real time. So I tried my best to make all of the houses a bit different looking from each other, so it's not like all same, same, you know. But all of them have their own backyards as well. So for summer, she has her own little tomato plant a garden here there is a bench you can have some drinks of course her cat also needs <laughs> its own little cat door and you know other business <laughs> there's also a clothesline and i tried to not overdo it with all like too many plants so as i mentioned in my voiceover earlier travis has more like um, a backyard that is perfect for hangouts. There is a ping pong table, a little campfire, and also a juice keg. So definitely you can invite all the people over here. He also has a barbecue on the porch. Liberty's backyard is... it's not... there's not a lot of things happening basically. She has this training object for her dog JJ. She also has a clothing line and also a telescope. She has something that the others don't have and which is her own little shed in the back. So this is basically a workshop for her work. She is an engineer so I thought it would be perfect to have a robotics uh, workshop in the back. I'm going to start with a summer's apartment or house. It's very well. I tried to add like lots of clutter, but not but, like not too much. It's very colorful here. You can see the living room, lots of little knickknacks here and there, some drawings on the wall. I really like the mix of this hot pink and more muted purple lavender color and with the yellow as well very cute i thought this is how her kitchen looks like 
She has the Sun Stand Mixer from Home Chef Hustle, a little Arts and Crafts on the fridge. And you know, I love these blue counters. She has the dining table by all of these big windows, the bay window area, which I thought would be really nice. And this little nook here with, you know, lots of clutter, things on the cork board, on the shelves. This is such a little cute area that I, I like. We have a cat tree here. Over on the left side here, we have her office. Summer's office is very blue. And there are some pink. There's lots of like crafts, arts and crafts on the desk, along with a laptop. Lots of bookshelves and other little knickknacks. The bathrooms in all the houses are pretty simple, I gotta say. There's not like too much going on, just all the necessities. We do have a hallway here, there are some toys for the cat, there is the uh, washing machine for clothing. Summer's bedroom is very cute, it's very pink and blue, very colorful, lots of knickknacks on both the nightstands, on the dresser. I love those floral pictures on the walls. There are fairy lights in the windows and this big, beautiful standing mirror. She also has her own walk-in wardrobe. We're moving on to Travis's house. So this is the entryway. Not a lot going on. There is a walk-in wardrobe for like storage and things. This is how the living room is looking. So I definitely wanted to include a big TV with a gaming console. There's like little things on the coffee table. Don't mind the stanky drink here. <laughs> little magazines to gaming controller. Some storage space on the side here. I thought fit really well into this nook between the, the wall and the, the windows. I added a game board table here for him. Like I mentioned, he would probably have a little group of friends. They would probably come over like once in a while for their weekly gaming get together, something like that. And yeah, I love this uh, couch. I feel like I always say that. It's one of my favorites. He has a fishbowl, also a big stereo. This is how his streaming office looks like. Lots of posters on the walls like related to gaming little knickknacks on the actual like desk there with the gaming pc and this is the the background basically lots of collectibles and little things i added a drone the streaming drone like some signed uh posters i thought these swords would be nice like they were not real i imagine like they would be just a toy maybe related to a game that is streaming and yeah, like lots of photography accessories. And this is how the kitchen looks like. I imagine his uh, house or the apartment building would be more on the modern side. So definitely you can see that in the kitchen here. I've not done like too many clutter things here and there, but like a few. There's a small dining table. And yeah, I thought it, I thought it looked looked nice here. And this is his bathroom. It is quite sizable, I would say, because I fit in a shower and a bathtub. Also, the washer and dryer machines are here. It stands in style with a kitchen with the same tiles and everything. And last but not least, this is his bedroom. So also like posters and other things on the walls, some little knickknacks on the dresser. He has like some photos up on the corkboard there, poster on the wall. And yeah, very simple, I would say. Like not too cluttered. I didn't put like anything on this nightstand, for example. The upstairs apartment looks like this. So it's not fully furnished. It has the bare necessities. I enjoyed putting out all these move-in boxes. So maybe there's already like someone planning on moving in, but it looks very simple and yeah, got the, the necessities for a sim just moving in. Last but not least, we have Liberty's place here. I 
really wanted to include like a screened in porch for one of the houses so i decided to do one for liberty there is like just some seating here some candles some plants she also has her bike parked in here there is a very like simple little entryway you can see the bathroom here it only has a bathtub so very very simple again and Liberty's place looks a bit more older looking, a bit run down. I think she has like a few mix and match furniture and, you know, maybe some from the flea market, some that she has inherited from family members or friends maybe. But yeah, this is how the living room is looking like. She has some, uh, the pizza box is there, some energy drinks maybe. She has some framed in documents or something leaning against the wall there. I sized up some of these bookshelves and put in some things like the stereo, some books. She also has like a trophy from maybe when she went to uh, high school, like the programming computer club. And as you can see, the house is not in perfect condition. There are like some of these little imperfections here and there, both on the inside of the house and also on the outside. This is how Liberty's bedroom is looking like. She has some music posters on the wall. I quite enjoyed mixing and matching the nightstands here. She has some clutter, like laundry on, just lying on the floor. She has some little uh, robot like gadgets here. <laughs> I thought these were really cute. And yeah, I think this bedroom stands for in style with Liberty and her whole like personality. The kitchen is also on the older looking side. Looks like both of the pets have um, a get together in the kitchen here. <laughs> so I added the pressure cooker, as I mentioned, just a lot of other knickknacks, microwave and also some things for the dog of course. Liberty also has a small office here with the washing machine. She has her diplomas on the wall. I included this really cool like robotics arm on top of here. There is like a gadget in here too in the bookshelf and yeah lots of like items that refers to her job as an engineer. And here I'll give you an overview of the houses and the floor plans because I did forget to do that when I first started touring the houses. So I'll give you some overviews here. Here you have Travis's place. The second floor looks like this. And then you also have a Summer's place over here. So that's basically it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a like and a follow for more content in the future. If you want to be notified of when I upload a video next, make sure to click the bell icon too. This build is playtested and up on my gallery. My ID is Haname Sims, or you can find me with the hashtag Haname Sims as well. So thank you all so much for hanging out with me today as we build the new house for the BFF household and I can't wait to talk to you all in the next video. Until then, take care, bye!